is finished. Uh, Luton Town 1, Sunderland 2. We were robbed, guys. You know, that goal uh, that Morris scored, it should have stood. Clark was nowhere near in the way, so you can't even use that as an excuse. You know, he was well out of the way. Like the Man City game, you know, the Bernardo Silva uh, incident, you know, way out of the way, trying to get out of the way anyway. And was nowhere near. Morris was well on side. And Linesman was the same side as him, you know, which made it even worse to say that was offside. We were dominant. Uh, Sunderland had a bit of a spell in the first half, but we were dominant, you know, as the game went on. You know, a bit of controversy at the end. Should we have had a penalty? Oh, we just didn't deserve to lose that. We were robbed. Simple as that, guys. And it's frustrating, but we have to beat Coventry now, um, you know, on the weekend. I mean, I don't care where they are in the league. It will be a difficult game. But we need to beat them, really. Uh, to get that confidence, like we played well, right? Like, we we deserve to at least get a draw, in my opinion, in this game. And yeah, happy for Elijah. Obviously, got off the mark, got his first goal this season. Worked very hard as well. And yeah, it's just frustrating because we definitely deserve something uh, from the game. You know, at least a draw. And yeah, it's it's just annoying, isn't it? You know, I can't even blame Rob Edwards for anything. The only thing I would say is he should have made Taylor come on earlier. Taylor should have come on before Woodrow for me. I don't really see the point of bringing on Taylor in the 90th minute. Like, what do you expect him to do there? I'm not really too sure. But, yeah, we move on to Coventry on the weekend. I will be there. So, there will be a match day vlog. And, obviously... If I can, I'll try and do a quick reaction similar to what I did for the Sheffield United game as well. But we have to try and win that game now. Um, but yeah, I can't, you know, I'm not disappointed with the players. You know, everyone played well. You know, we looked we look good. We did look good. And the referee, you know, walking out of the stadium now, they need to get interviewed. Like, honestly, on, on these decisions, like, it's, it's a joke. Like, I know the ref didn't obviously do that one there, but, you know, two potential shouts for penalties as well. I would, maybe not the first one, but I'd say the second one right at the end of the game was a penalty for me. Oh, but it's just frustrating, isn't it? You know, I, I think they utilised um, the head injuries to, to their advantage now, which I don't like to say, but you see a lot of teams do that now. They hold their heads when they're not in pain. If you're in pain, yeah, serious pain, you ain't going to move for starters or, you know, you're just not going to be rolling around as much. Do you know what I mean? And they were they were taking the keep was time wasting, but, you know, it, it is what it is. I guess it's just frustrating. Like, they broke their poor record at Kenilworth Road. But they didn't deserve to win, let's be honest. Um, and again, I'll probably get Sunderland fans to see this saying I'm salty. I can not give it to us, to be honest. Like, shout out to James Shea. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just frustrating, man. We didn't deserve to lose that at all. But like I say, we have to go into that Coventry game and play like we did the last two games because we have played well. Obviously, the Watford game was a standout because we won that. Shout out to Shea. Uh, there he is. But yeah, this game we played well. We were robbed. Simple as that, guys. So, yeah, big up to everyone. Smash the likes, subscribe, let me know your thoughts on the game.